I'm Alan Spears with Occupy Democrats, and today I want to talk to you a little bit about religion. Now, don't click away just yet. Just hear me out. Just real quick, hear me out. I want to show you a video that's a little bit older now. However, it's kind of regained some momentum and attention as it's dealing with a very important issue that's going to be, frankly, front and center in the 2024 election. That issue is the evangelical vote. It would seem that most evangelicals are simply not interested in another candidate and believe in their heart of hearts that Donald Trump is their man. That isn't the case for all evangelicals, however. And in this clip, you're going to see that what was once a very strong and solid foundation for former President Trump is now starting to crack and crumble away. The former president enjoyed strong support, obviously, from white evangelical voters, 77% in 2016, according to Pew Research Center, 84% in 2020. With that in mind, Eric Garrett Tuckman visited a Baptist church in Virginia where the pastor seemed to buck that trend during the last election, and his congregation did not like it. This Sunday service is led by a pastor who took the place of this pastor. I don't want to start controversy. Apparently, God does. And I'm just the messenger. Taking his place after this outdoor sermon during the worst of the COVID pandemic, just a few months before the 2020 presidential election. Why will we not finally admit that we have put a liar in our White House? Why will we not finally admit that that is antichrist? And William Cobb, who had been the spiritual leader of this evangelical Southern Baptist Church for 14 years, wasn't anywhere near done talking about then-President Donald Trump. 18,000 fact-checked lies in 1,100 days is more than just unacceptable. It is more than just sin. It is more than just wrong. It is demonic. And then Cobb added this. And you can't deny it because Jesus says it. And if you choose to deny that, then you choose to deny Jesus. You can't have it both ways. You can't support the lie and claim the truth. You can't support the Antichrist and support the Christ. What happened to you? I was fired. I knew when I heard it that we would not be staying at the church. I want to say he was a friend. Jim Brooks is a deacon at the church. The thing that got me was at the very end, Pastor Cop said that if you voted for Trump, you are not a Christian. That was the biggest thing for me. Within 48 hours, William Cop says, the church leaders, including Deacon Brooks, asked for his resignation. Look, this video was not meant to criticize or give support to any one belief or religion. It is often a very private and a very personal experience, and I or no one else should take that away from you. Look, for those individuals that are religious, for those that actively practice their religion, that make it a very big part of their life, and it influences or even dictates what they say and what they do and how they act, this is a huge deal. One of the best things about this country is that we are free to practice whatever religion or faith we want. A major problem is arising with a large percentage of evangelicals, however. So many evangelicals see Donald Trump in this light as someone who can do no wrong, who is not capable of making a mistake, as someone who, no matter what, is always right. The fact that so many of his supporters see him as this quasi-Christ-like figure is concerning to a lot of people, especially those who do not share in the religion. There's a significant amount of evangelicals who are willing to forego the separation of church and state so long as their beliefs are the ones dictating policy. A major reason why the attendance in these evangelical churches is declining is due largely to the fact that a lot of times, far-right politics and evangelical ideologies tend to overlap, and that's not something the younger generation is interested in. And look, I'm not criticizing or attacking anyone's faith, but evangelicals are going to have to come to the realization that they have a problem. Whether they realize it or not, many who do not share the faith see them as completely devoted to Donald Trump and using the religion as an excuse 
to act poorly towards others that do not share the faith. William Copp stood up and in front of his peers spoke up about what he thought was right and called out what he thought was wrong. But when he stood up for his beliefs and those beliefs didn't align with the other majority of the evangelicals, he was cast aside. Politics and religion are always going to be two pretty hot button issues that get people really fired up and passionate, and it makes sense. These are two aspects of our lives that greatly influence how we live and the quality of life that we have. The fact that the evangelicals are so divided, however, and the fact that there are those who will adamantly support Donald Trump until the day they die, and there are those that have opposed him even as early as day one, I think this is reflective of a much greater issue within our society. Donald Trump has taken something as deeply personal and meaningful as religion and the evangelical faith and twisted it into a tool for his own political gain. He is a con man, plain and simple, and he has hijacked the evangelical faith and turned it into a weapon to use against others. Don't let this man use your or anyone else's faith as a weapon to turn against your neighbor. We all deserve better than that. You deserve better than that.